So Helmo is asking, could you please do an under temperature protection test with three degrees Celsius? Thanks. Well, I had it in Deutsch schreiben können. Of course I can do such a test because the JKBMS comes with two temperature sensors by default. And I looked online how to do this test correctly. And I found a video from my good old friend Will Browse from exactly two years ago. Have a look at this. I'm starting to like this. I want to make like a permanent setup with this. This is really cool. So the next step is testing if the low temperature disconnect for charging works. Right now it's charging. So we're going to take one of these temperature sensors and stick it in a bowl with frozen uh, green beans. A bowl of frozen green beans in water? Are you serious? And we're going to see if it will actually turn it all off. Oh my gosh, look at that. 17 degrees Celsius, 16 degrees Celsius, 15. Oh, I have it set to 3 degrees Celsius. Come on. So we're at 4 degrees Celsius. All right, we're at 1 degree Celsius and it is not turning off. <laughs> Apart from how young he looks still in this video, he did the test completely wrong. Yes, Will Prowse completely wrong. This is not how you do a proper low temperature disconnect test. Green beans in water has never worked for these tests. Well, my friend, let me tell you, this is exactly why your test failed. So, Will, pay attention. Andy from the Offcut Garage in sunny hot Australia will now show you how this test is being done correctly. And this is the only standard and off-grid garage approved method to do a low temperature disconnect test with a BMS. So first of all, we want to go into our BMS, go into the settings and have a look for the under voltage, under temperature protection. Here, charge, charge, there it is, there it is. Charge under temperature protection, zero degrees. Helmo wants this on three degrees. And right underneath is the charge under temperature protection recovery temperature. <laughs> yeah, okay, we can leave this at 10 degrees. So in theory, the charging process should turn off at 3 degrees and turn back on if we reach 10 degrees again. Okay, I have now turned on our charger, our power supply, and we are charging with 3 amps. Doesn't really matter. Frozen green beans. Come on! <laughs> All right, what is our BMS doing? It has turned off. We've got exactly three degrees beer temperature. Now we've got four. And yes, the current has turned off. 0, 0.0 amps. If I stir the sensor a little bit, temperature is getting down to two degrees again. We are still under temperature protected. And now we have to warm up the sensor and, and see if the charging commences when we hit 10 degrees or higher. And there we go, we are back to 19 degrees and the charging is starting again. Second test, three, and here it turns off. We take out the sensor again, out of the ice cold yummy beer. Temperature is rising slowly. 10 degrees, 11, there we go, charging starts again. The JK BMS has two temperature sensors. One is still stuck in the battery, this black cable there. And the other one is here in the ice cold beer 
And with the JKBMS, it is enough if one of the sensor measures the low temperature. Unlike the Ant BMS, Wilpros tested two years ago, which needs to have both sensors under the uh, under temperature protection to turn off the charging current. I just want to test. Is that cold? Oh, mm. it's nothing better than ice cold beer. All right, Helmo, I hope this answers your question and I hope everyone has learned now how to do the proper under temperature disconnection test for BMSs. Never use frozen green beans. <coughs> Always use an ice cold spat. Sorry, Will, I hope you don't mind, but frozen green beans. The next time you should use at least organic beans.